Hi guys. Um, it is the 15th of May, even though it snowed here this morning. I was laughing. It was snowing outside and there's actually little piles of snow in my backyard. I'm in, um, near Chicago. Um, okay. There is a video up. It's by L4J. Capital L, number four, capital J, capital R, Rapture. So it's L4J Rapture. Um, please look up this video. It is called Speaking in Tongues Isn't the Most Important Thing. The King is Coming Very Soon. I pray that you all will go look at this video. Uh, it's a really good teaching on tongues. One thing I will add is there is um, confusion because there is praying in tongues, which is um, praying in the spirit. And then there's also prophesying in tongues. And in prophesying in tongues, you need a witness. When you're praying in tongues, you can be praying in tongues all day long. You can be praying in your sleep. You can be praying, well, maybe not in your sleep, but you can be praying just under your breath throughout the day. Um, and then the prophesying in tongues, though, that is where the Lord is sharing a prophecy and you have to have an interpreter there. So though that's the difference. So I just hope that you'll go and listen to her message. It's very, very informative. And it's, um, I, I really loved the message, especially right now, because there's so many questions about this. And it goes a lot with this message that I was given this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up. My daughter, speak this morning to those that have ears to hear. Tell my children to give up on the things of this world now. Turn your face to me. Turn your thoughts to me. Whatever you are facing, turn it over to me. Do not rely on your flesh, my children. Do not. Return to the Holy Spirit, my Ruach HaKodesh. Open your heart and let him in. Your flesh will only lead you down a path of destruction. To hear my voice, you must rely on my Holy Spirit. He will be your safety and helper in these times of trouble. Seek him now before the trouble starts. Humble yourself and do not let your own pride stand in his way. He will bring you peace and chaos, help and trouble. He will shoulder your burdens and remove fear from you. Receive him continually, my children. Turn to him. Not this world when you need help with your problems. He is living within your heart if he's been invited. Do not be afraid that he is not with you. Receive him and know that in faith that he is there. He is the still small voice telling you it's going to be okay. He convicts your heart of your salvation through Christ. For that does not come from your flesh. He creates in you a joyful and thankful heart. He is there for my children. Be still and listen for his voice. He loves you more than anything, no matter what your past. He waits for you to hear his whisper. He is quiet, yet ever so powerful. Let him guide your will. Learn today to hear his voice. Shut out this world. Sit quietly and listen. He will show you his peace that passes all understanding. He will declare you as his vessel and begin to purge the junk of this earth and refill you with his light. He is the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, and he is freely offered if you will just receive him. Receive him, my children. Do not delay. Receive. Receive.